Don't know what a Sufami Turbo is? Don't worry, neither fucking do I. Because apparently it's a Japanese add-on. And it's the only one I know. And the only game I know that needs to run it is... Kekiso Sentai Karenja. Yup, for some reason, Car Ranger has a game. Boy, what's going on, guys? The Inhuman Beatdown, and as stated, I'm here with Gekiso Sentai Car Ranger. For those who are not in the know, Gekiso Sentai Car Ranger is the 20th Sentai, or 20th Super Sentai technicality, because technically that would make it the 22nd Sentai. But, I digress. Boy. If you're only familiar with Turbo, it's uh, Power Rangers counterpart. Oh, boy. Boy. Car Rangers was originally made to be sort of a parody of Sentai. Of, like, Super Sentai at the time. Which is why a lot of the shit in Power Rangers was super, like, campy and super, like, cartoony and funny kind of stuff. Because Car Rangers was never meant to be taken seriously. How do I mean not to be taken seriously? Um, well, let me summarize the plot for you. Dapu, a young alien from the planet Hazard, is forced to leave his home world after it is destroyed by the universal, reckless, thriving tribe, Bozok. A gang of wild thugs who run rampant throughout the universe by causing chaos on planets before ultimately blowing them up. Dapu has knowledge of, and I cannot believe this is about to leave my mouth, Car magic, a special magic connected to five car constellations that give great power. When the Bozog decide their next target of destruction as Earth, Dapu discovers the power of the five constellations within five beings on the planet who possess car magic within them and the ability to harness the power into becoming the Gekiso Sentai Car Ranger, which can stand up to the space thugs. The five turn out to be five workers of the Pegasus Garage who unknowingly had chosen these constellations as their dream cars. They ultimately wish to build. When Dapu enters into the lives, they are forced to become the Car Ranger and stand up to the Bozok, whether they want to or not. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, it doesn't get... Uh, let's get into this. Alright, so this game is uh, pretty standard. I don't want to say beat-em-up, but it's a side-scrolling... I'd say beat-em-up, but almost everything dies in a single punch, so... Uh... Yeah. Anyways, so let's begin. So already we get our choice of the uh, of the car rangers. Each one has something different and unique to them. So I'm gonna try to test them out. I've tested a little bit to see what some of them can do. As such, like green can kind of float in the air. Red has like an extra energy punch thing at the end of his attack, and blue can slide kick, which I really like. I don't know any of their names because I haven't seen Car Rangers yet, so bear with me on this. But yeah, so the plot is... Boy, is it weird. Like, boy, is it weird. How weird? The fact that they're going to destroy the planet isn't the weird part. The fact that it's because the leader of the Bozok tribe was, was trying to get the attention of this hot chick. And the chick was just like... Man, it would be really awesome if someone blew up this planet. I might even suck their dick. That's not actually what she said, but she might as well as implied that. He gets super excited and it's like, Yo guys, we're going to we're going to Earth so I can get my dick sucked. And that's their entire reason for doing it. There we go. Yay. I think I missed uh I missed the thing back there. Uh but that's okay. Yay, Super Mega Cannon. You'll no doubt be noticing that some of these enemies and some of these obstacles are dropping, like, gears. Yeah, so these are actually necessary to complete the game. Uh-oh. You need to, like, uh, you need to collect 50, preferably in every stage, if possible. I picked up a weapon item here, so I get... Oh, then I lost it immediately. Whatever. Drop down here so I can get access to a secret stage. And pick up more gears and take more damage from these tire throwing motherfuckers. Oh my god. I hate the tires. The tires are like my mortal enemy. There we go. Anyway, so yeah. 
At 50, you'll receive a part, which is indicated by that uh, circle thing down there. Uh, basically, the quickest version of this is, you get one of those things for getting 50 parts. Also, anytime you see one of these, press up. They don't tell you that, but you should be aware. There we go. And that's why. So, thankfully, we've gotten, uh, we've gotten 50 here, so we can leave this level fully fulfilled and also still get extras if we need so. But I think now... No, no, we're not at the boss yet. No, we were at the boss. All right, cool. And I still got some time to get some extra parts. And another weapon. And health. And more health. Cool. All right, so each, uh, each person has a different weapon for blue. His is a gun. For red, it's a sword. But yeah. So the parts are necessary to beat the game. You need them before you encounter the final boss. Otherwise, you're getting the bad ending. Which the bad ending, bad ending is Earth gets blown up. Yeah. Real bad times bears. I mean, you've got to be kidding me. But yeah. From here, we enter into our boss battle. Just, I'm not going to lie. It's pretty easy, all things considered. The boss itself can't actually hurt you. Like, there's no contact damage. He can hurt you with his attack. But he himself cannot actually... His attacks can harm you, but touching him cannot actually harm you. Use that to your advantage. So, like... Oh, shit. I was gonna say, I was gonna. Oh man, I got parts for blowing those up. God, I could just farm that forever. If I felt like it. But he's dead now. Also, fun thing, I'm not using cheats for this, because as you can probably tell, this is really easy and it pretty much stays at this difficulty for the entire game. This game is not difficult at all. Yay! So, with one part collected, we've gotten one of the cars. So, from here, um, since I know what red and green do, we're going to try yellow. I don't know what they do. They might have... Ow. Longer reach. I'm not actually sure. Oh, sword. What have they got? Whatever the fuck this is. Here, I'll take this. Oh, wow! That's a lot of shit. Aw. I'm sad. Oh, well. I had 100 parts, so already at the beginning of the level, we already have enough for another car part. So, if I'm lucky, uh, we can actually get a third part in the second level. Again, these uh, patches are indications of where you can enter into areas. And they are good for extra parts, because those give 10. And that's extra health, which I'm not going to turn down. Also, in most cases, pits are just other areas you can go into. So that's good to know. Also, you do lose your weapon when you take damage, so... Yeah, that's a bummer, but it's bound to happen. But they give you, like, shit tons of health, as you can see. Dying, honestly, isn't that big of a deal, if I'll be honest with you. Oh man, I wish I could... Ugh. Damn. See more health. Oh, man, we're already at the boss. All right. All right, so this guy will try to, like, spear me with his uh, attack. And he'll he'll actually take a good chunk of my health out if he hits me with it. Because he'll bite me and chew me several times. But uh, as long as I just... As long as I just jump away from him, 
I'm perfectly fine. Oh, that wasn't fine. But he's already glowing, so, you know, universal sign that he's starting to get weak, so, you know. Again, like I said, not a hard game. Even the final boss isn't too terrible, I don't think. I pray. I did it. And we are two for two on parts already, so we're going pretty quickly. All right, I think I'll try out pink this time. Okay, so she's just like... She's just like, uh... Yellow, it seems. I'm not sure what she does. Basically, it's what I'm saying. If anything. Oh, there we go, more parts. Oh, these fucking miners. Blow him up. Nothing in those. Kind of saddening. Oh well. This one specifically instructed me to go forward. I think that's about the first time they kind of explained that mechanic to you. And also, fuck all that. Come over here. And there's our next part. And then just drop down here. She actually took us backwards. So we do have to kind of go back through some enemies. But it's not too bad. Let's go adventuring down this uh, cavern here. some good parts from that one. I wonder if I can, uh, this time, actually, like, uh... Oh, she has the... Oh, right, she has the multi-arrow. Bitchin! Yes! I love this attack. Oh, then I lost it immediately. Cool. <laughs> Aww. I did a pick. Oh shit. I did not mean to come down here. Hi, I, I, I need you to move because I can't break you. Which is unfortunate. So, I'm gonna go. Ah, oh, there we go. Sweet, beautiful health. I almost got, I almost got enough for a second part, but yeah, there's the boss. I wonder if I can hit his little, I cannot, damn, and I lost my power up, unfortunately. So he'll either like drop out these tire wheel things or shoot out this laser attack and eventually he'll start. Oh, she can double jump. That's dope. He hasn't done it yet. He'll sometimes, like, sweep his beam across. Oh, God. Damn. There we go. Took a lot of hits there, but... Still done. Arrivederci. We are making record time on this. I might actually finish this in one video. All right, 
this time I'll pick green. Am I in a fucking Sky Fortress? Yeah, he has uh he has like a floating uh floating jump. There we go. Oh god. Uh, there's no one how I'm gonna go up and get that one up there now. Fuck all y'all. There we go. I forget what the symbol for this one looked like. Uh, or at least like the, uh, what the ground layering looked like for, uh oh, hello. Oh yeah, it's you. You turned into a joke villain in Turbo. I mean, you're not much better in here, but you know. Getting over that sweep actually made it makes it super easy with the Green Ranger. And just dodge that first sweep. Yeah, no, pretty fucking easy. <laughs> he has one pattern, and I've long since cracked the code. Again. I don't know what the who does who uh who like uh who the uh the age rating for this game was designed for, but god it probably sure as fuck wasn't someone above the age of thirteen. There we go. Now he's space trash. Oh, uh, here we go. This is what they look like. Ow. Bro, this area had a fucking finish for bombs! Oh man, five more and I will have everything I need. Oh, he has a fucking mega cannon. There we go, got it. We now have everything we need to beat the game. Also, I'm just now noticing that the mega kick is just when you have a weapon, so... That was probably not Yellow's ability, it was probably a double jump just like Pink. Who's the boss? What are you? I have no idea. Ow. Keep using that tornado ability on me though, I'm gonna be able to like easily dodge it. I ride the wind. Ow. Until it hits me. I think the th sad part about this is I can just damage, I can just tank damage and still be perfectly fine. Like he doesn't do enough to really be threatening. And I, and in all in all honesty, I say him, but really I mean every boss in the game. 
Although, he definitely seems to be the tankiest. Either that or green just deals reduced damage. Oh, there we go. Maybe, maybe green deals reduced damage for that jump. I don't know. Again, like I said, I can just tank damage and be perfectly fine. Like, he'd need to hit me about, like, what is that, seven more times? But I'm pretty sure in the span of that time, I'll have killed him. Also, is he a friend or something? I don't... I don't really get this. Okay, later, friendo, I think. Bye. I love you. Maybe. <laughs> there we go, four and five. That is all the cars assembled. Now we can build the Meg... Uh, I don't actually know what the uh, Megazord is called for the Car Rangers. But it is necessary. So, last stage, we're definitely going to, of course, take uh, the red one. I don't know why I wanted to call him Geki. Too much, uh, too much Jew Ranger. Oh, good. So he kind of gets like this, this punch at the end of his attack. It's kind of cool. Oh crap. Okay. Man, I guess even the uh, I guess even the uh, the minions have the same hitbox as the uh, villains do, where it's just um, what am I thinking of? It's like their hitbox is just their attack. They don't actually necessarily have, like, oh. I'm gonna have to actually be careful on this stage. Green would have actually probably been a good choice here. the chick on the screen who wants us to who wants a dude man to blow up earth i don't remember i think she also falls in love with every member of the team or something something dumb like that i could do with some more health oh good we're already at the boss Oh, this is actually bad. He actually does have a hurt box on his body. This might actually be my first death. Yep, first death. Cool, good times. I have to do the whole stage over again, don't I? Oh no, I'm just back at the boss. Okay, cool. Oh. I don't actually know how that split works, but whatever. I don't know how to dodge that either. Ow. I think my strategy here is just going to be kind of like tank the uh, bullets, but dodge the... Uh... Oh, it's going bad. I was going to say dodge the uh, doodad. So I think if I can do that, I can kill it. Yep, there we go. But battle's not over yet, because he's a sore loser.
But that's okay, because the Car Ranger Zord is here to save us. I don't remember if I get to do a battle in this or if this is just it. Oh no, that's it. It's just game over. Yeah, wow, no, there's not even a giant... Oh my god, there's not even a Megazord fight. Oh my god. I finished this game in 25 minutes. And without cheat codes. That should tell you how fucking easy this game is. I'm gonna be real with you, I don't know why this game exists. <laughs> That's Car Rangers! Uh, what do I say? There was some neat gameplay for all of the five seconds that it existed. The fact that each ranger has something cool to them is cool. There's some added challenge of needing to get the parts to get the better ending of having the car ranger kill. I don't know his name. Uh, yeah. But, I mean... Wow, what is the point of this game? Why does it exist? <laughs> I don't... I don't get it, it was so goddamn easy! I don't... I don't... I don't understand this game. I don't get it, why does this exist? Well... I... Pff, yeah, I don't know. That's going to be it for now, guys. So until next time, I'll catch you all later. Asta.